spray. I know it's only an on and off, and there's nothing interfering with it. And those are your toggle switch. So I'm going to show you parts now. We have a toggle switch that I bought for about five dollars. We have a tube like this is going to be now the handle. It's going to mount like that. Um, and then a couple of tubes like this are going to be holding your batteries. And we have a T, um, which is a two-inch T, uh, which is big enough to put your batteries in. Two-inch T to a one and a half inch, which is going to be our our stock or our handle. Um, and then we have our, as we did yesterday, our four battery hookup post. And then I bought some shrink wrap just to clean that all up inside so that it's not messing around. I know I don't have a short. I'll just throw it all together and zip it all together. Now, I'll just show you the T. Um, it was just being drilled. Uh, we just had it all drilled out so that we can put the actual solenoid unit right into it so that this is all covered. The solenoid goes in. So here's the T. See if you can see we got a drill right through it. There's the hole um, drilled through it. And now the solenoid unit that is on our on our guns that is from the will go right inside it. Actually, I went upside down. It'll go right inside, it and all your wiring will be right inside. And then this will mount like this on the bottom, giving you a trigger. Um, and so this is the base de design, and those are the parts you're going to need. So once again, a T from two uh, two inch to two inch to one and a half, and you're going to have to drill a hole in the top like so. I didn't do it; one of my friends here did it. Um, and then we're going to need a little piece of two inch pipe with a two inch cover, and that will just keep your batteries in. Don't glue the two inch covers, and then one and a half inch with a cover. Um, that'll keep it all easy to access the wires. And here's the drill that was used to drill the hole. Um, I'm not sure what it's called. Forstner bit. It's a Forstner bit, and uh, it'll drill the hole uh, that you need. You will need to draw, drill one more hole, and everything else is just gluing and wiring. So the other hole, you'll need to draw a hole in this to put your trigger, your toggle switch in, just like so. It'll go inside and there. So we'll uh, pick it up as we build some of this after that hole's drilled. On off plate, batteries, and this is our trigger now mocked up. I showed you a little earlier building there's the other end caps and our trigger unit will go right here in there there's a hole I drilled that was a one um, half inch hole use a half inch drill bit to drill that and then you can see we put a hole right through there and we actually modified it a little bit more since the last time we talked and showed you we sanded down the outside so that the whole casing goes in and it fits in like a thing we'll just show you here here and then this here casing. Now none of this is glued yet. I'll do the gluing after I show you how we do the wiring and stuff. Um, so we're just gonna hard to do with one hand here. Hold the camera and so bring in the wires. Let's bring that wire camera back so you can actually see what I'm doing here. We're bringing the wires. Bring the wires back. And we're going to feed the wires through. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trim these wires. because They're a little long because I don't want to keep them in, but I'm just showing you how it fits on. Now we've thinned and it fits on there like so. That will become our trigger unit. And it'll be like that and we can just pop, pop. Okay, so now showing you how the trigger unit is going on. Here is a look at the wires out in the full trigger unit there and uh, so now I'm going to show you how to wire it and then we're going to go right into um, actual construction of that. I will not show you the gluing process because I will glue here, here and here um, so they're solid um, and then just leave the caps off um, but I won't show you the gluing mechanism because we all know how all the red wires that we have we're going to put them into one we're going to twist them we're going to slide a heat sink over top of this so that later we can seal this with the with the uh, wires that we want sealed with then I'm going to take these wires and I'm going to, um, we can either twist them into this, like this, um, and make them in. I'm going to take them side by side and I'm going to twist them all so much. I'm going to try to mix them in so we have some pretty good contact. Um, don't want any lack of contact. I'm going to bend it over like so, give us some real good contact. Take our heat sink, slide it over. Okay, we're not going to seal the heat sink yet because well, the last thing we want to do is seal the heat sink and then have to strip it off because we didn't we had a bad contact. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to take these black wires and 
We're going to pull this into, into the scene here so we can kind of see what we're doing here. We're going to take our black wires. Um, Okay, we're going to take our black wires and one of the set of the black wires, this is how we're going to wire it up. Now I'm not going to actually finish this product because I'm going to do this um, inside the chamber. Um, so I, I won't, you won't be able to see it well there. So we're going to take all our black wires and we're going to take one end of this and we're going to mix these black wires and this and this wire all up together. And uh, we're just going to take them and, and make them nice and twist it all up. And very simply, something like this. Um, make sure that they're all got a good contact. Once again, we're gonna we're gonna get that real good contact, um, and then we're gonna slide on this one. We'll just slide this heat shrink over top of that. And we're just gonna heat shrink it like that, just because it's gonna be um, a N. Okay. So that's that. That. So that's just the contact. We're gonna get that. Now with this side. It is going to go to the other side of the toggle switch. So we're going to just do that. We will put a heat sink on this too. Um, what I'll do is I'll intertwine them like this. Um, it'd be good if you had like a uh, quick junction, a slide post uh, one where the peg ends go in together and they just connect together and you can just tighten and squeeze them. Um, that's another way. We'll, we'll just use that like that and we'll use a heat sink over it. So just to see if we've got um, it working, because I'm as I said, I'm wiring this up, but I'm going to rewire it in. So that's working. Our, our switch must be on. You can hear it. So we're just going to take that off and we're going to plug in our batteries. You know, here we go. We got our batteries plugging in. Pretty simple. And as I said, we got batteries. The batteries plugged in. I recommend only trying with three first. Um, don't want to burn out your solenoid. So just in case somebody doesn't know how to use a heat shrink or anything like that, and they don't have to use a heat shrink, but if they don't know how to, um, I'm just going to show you. We, you can use a hair dryer, you can use anything. I'm just using the, this lighter. It just shrinks right up and heats in and seals that connection nice and good. And there you are, it's all connected, it's all shrunk wrapped. Okay, I'm done gluing the gray, two gray pieces in, and my two inch, uh, well, they're almost three and a half inch, two inch pipes into the T, and the one inch type with the drilled hole for the trigger. Now, it's key that you do not glue the blue caps on. You don't get any glue on them, anything, because these are going to be where you change your batteries. These are your battery compartment, and it's so easy to pop them off that you don't want to glue them on and then not be able to get to your batteries, okay? So that'll make it so much easier. So now it's all wired up. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna start dropping things through. I'm gonna start with the, the uh, trigger, okay? I'm gonna drop it right through until I can get it on the other side, there. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is put the trigger in. It's a little tricky because of the, the distance now that you have to get the trigger in the hole um, and get it to turn. So once you get the indicator, which goes right like that, and I have on as a flick up. I just find it easier to flick up, so that's the way I want it right there. And you put your locking nut on there, and you just go like this, and screw it to the point that it is tight. You know, there you go. Screw it in there. There we go. And there we have our on off switch, on off, there we go, put it in there, boom, boom, works like a charm. Okay, then we're going to feed our battery stuff through, and I have batteries going on both sides, so I have separated them when I, when I put them together. Um, I'm going to have batteries here and here fed in, so that goes like this, and then the batteries come out either side. So it's easy to reach, see the batteries on either side. There we go for changing batteries. And then you just lower this in like so, helping the wires along with it. And we bring it on here. 
there we are. We have our unit in place now and ready to tape on. We can do tie straps and do different things. I'm going to use just uh, standard electric tape. I'm going to tie tape here and here and tape it on um, to this unit, and that'll be my my unit. Then I'll place the caps on. So I'll come back after this taped. Okay. Yes, I did go to town with the tape. I just got a little over happy, and I was like, oh, let's cover most of the green. Um, so now I have the batteries in here. I'm just going to put the two inch cover on this side so I can get back at that battery if I need to. I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to stick the batteries in like so and stick the two inch cover on there uh, like so. Then I'm going to put the one and a half inch cover on the bottom. We have now got a fully complete trigger mechanism on our gun that we designed in the other video. Um, so there you are. Trigger mechanism and gun. Um, there's some altercations. Um, alter Another models of the guns that we can show you. Uh, we'll show you um, some shootings of three different models of guns when it's all said and done, and you'll just see the difference of them all. This is the one with the trigger um, that I designed to be more like a shoulder mount rocket launcher style, and I really like this one. And uh, we'll get to see a shoot a little later. Okay. And air compressor. We're lowering the pressure because sometimes you have to lower the pressure till in in the lower pressure to equalize it at the chamber so sometimes we'll look, fill it to what 60 then we'll crank up the pressure and fill it the rest of the way to 110 100 that's where we try to aim and we just hook it up and just quickly we are running out of time to use just show me right up here on the nipple we just put a normal uh, fill thing right and we fill so you can hear it going in and that is our fill system make sure that the valve is, is closed, closed. Because otherwise it just runs through. You won't have that problem with the electric triggers, they're closed until opened. Um, so just be like that and you fill it to about 100 psi 